So for the past 15 years, beloved comedian Ricky Smiley has entertained folks all across the country every morning with his radio show, The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. And his fans know that Ricky has carried on spreading laughter and smiles all while facing a personal tragedy. That's right. Ricky's son, Brandon, suddenly suddenly died in January of last year. And a few months later, Ricky opened up about the tremendous loss right here on our show. And now, well, now Ricky's back. He's back to share his important new book chronicling his journey. It's called Sideshow, Living with Loss and Moving Forward with Faith. Welcome back, sir. Welcome Thank you back, for having Ricky. me. Thank you. You and I, we spoke a few months uh, after Brandon died. At that yes. point, you were still uh, processing right. uh, all of it. Um, how are we, first of all, how are you doing today as we sit here? I'm doing great through therapy. Um, you know, uh, our God brings joy, uh, brings a lot of joy. Uh, I'm just so excited, you know, to be here to promote this book, to help people on grief and give people tools that they can use along their grief process. So it's just a pleasure to be here. And I feel a lot better than I felt the last time I was here. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to put, put all of this down in a book? Why did you feel like um, that was something that, that you needed and people needed? Well, you know, being a public figure, being a stand-up comedian, you know, people are always wondering, how are you? You yeah. know, because my job is to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. And that's the, uh, the purpose of naming the book Sideshow from the from Blue Magic. Let the sideshow begin. Yeah. Hurry, hurry, step right on in. Can't afford to pass it by, but guaranteed to make you cry. Uh, you're performing, you're making people laugh. You do a morning show every morning. You're doing stand-up comedy and you're crying on the inside and just te teaching people how, giving people tools that they could use mm -hmm. to help them through the grief process. So so what are some of the tools that, that help you in dealing with grief that you think could be, you know, particularly helpful to other folks? Well, you know, it's a, it's a stigma uh, that we just got to pray and give it over to God, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is true because you have to, you know, lean on God and sometimes God have to carry you. Uh, however, you know, we don't, you know, open up our Bible when we roll our ankle mm -hmm. right? or when your knee pop out of place. Right. So the brain is a muscle just like the knee and the ankle. So we have to go and get help and get therapy so we can learn how to process those feelings. Mm -hmm. So you won't go on a downward spiral into sadness, depression. Some people don't recover right. from grief. Some people uh, die from grief. Mm -hmm. And you have to figure out how to get through the process and recognize the angels that God sent because God sends angels through other people. So this book is so helpful. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to help a lot of people. What about, especially for men and, and men of color, you know, the, the idea of dealing with grief and, and being open about it, as in crying, things like that. What, yeah. How important is that? It is important to cry. I have, I have a third step that goes down into my kitchen and I sit on that third step and I, I, I go at it mm. with the echoes, the screams, I cry it out and I just get it out of my system because it's like a, a pressure cooker, right? If you don't pop that steam cap and crying is letting some of the steam off Yes. because the pressure cooker, when it builds pressure, it explodes and you can, you can lose your mind. So you have to cry it out. And, and and then get into moments of happiness, things that you like, things that you like to do, going to the beach, going to a movie, going to a comedy show. I recommend comedy. I recommend you go to any comedy club in the United States and sit there and just laugh because that's, that helps you with the healing process. Mm -hmm. you know. In the book, you also write about holding uh, joy and grief simultaneously. How, how, how does one go about doing that? How do you hold joy and grief at the same time? Yeah, you just have to process the grief, but you have to have joy. It's, it's like food. You have to find joy because joy just, it, it, it builds you up. And sometimes grief comes, it'll tear you back down, but then it, you, you have to find some more joy to build you back up. And then we have to also realize right when you think that you're going through something bad, someone else has it worse. A lady lost both of her sons in LA a week after my son died. I have two sons, right? God could have taken both of my sons. Sure. Right. But but he only called one to be with him. But but that could have been me. Yeah. So those are the little angels, the the, the 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 lights that come through the cloud when it's cloudy. Those little beams, those are the little things that you have to count. And it's all about the perspective. Look, what window you're going to look out of to, to see how you're going to look at this situation. So uh, I just think to God be the glory. I just thank him for his grace and his mercy uh, because uh, this 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 can take you out if you don't process it the right uh, way. Ricky, thank you. Thanks um, for sharing. Um, thank you. you. You're taking that tragedy and you're turning it in to something that's going to be very helpful for a lot of folks. Yes. Uh, and again, folks, the book is called Sideshow, Living with Loss 
and moving forward with faith. It's out Tuesday, Tuesday, September 17th. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.